Hi, welcome back to the Vinyl Revival Store. This is Record Store Day unboxing the finale. No more after this. This is the last one for 2024. Here we go. I made them wrapped up. This, this company really does look after its customers with great packaging, but it's but can be a pain to get it all off. So what have we got here? A great Bill Nelson and Bebop Deluxe Future Armour. Um, exclusive on blue vinyl from Bebop Deluxe. That's excellent. And uh, we've got a few of these. Bebop Deluxe Future Armour. Here's one that was on the American list, but not on the UK list. But somebody said, could I get it? And the day after they said, I told them I couldn't. The um, distributor said, oh, we've got some copies of this. We're adding to the list. Um, so this is from the USA, not on the U UK list. Body Snatchers, Vile Conduct, um, a 12 inch EP. Um, not sure if it's coloured vinyl or not, it doesn't say. We don't been in the US release, don't know a great deal about it, but somebody wanted it. And there you are. Nico. One of my favourite all time Nico. Um, live at the in Tokyo in 86. Um, some great uh, great tracks on there. All Tomorrow's Parties, the classic Velvet Underground track. Janitor of Lunacy, her probably her, her, her most haunting tracks of all time. Um, crystal clear green vinyl, Nico at the live in Tokyo in 1986. And then we have this one Kim Wilde Special Disco Mixes. Now, this is in short supply. Um, but we've got one here, um, Kim Wilde, special disco mixes, um, so great things like Kids in America, Cambodia, Dancing in the Dark, lots of great tracks from Kim Wilde, um, remixed, excellent. Another live one, live at Locosa Fest in 2005, Iggy and the Stooges on uh, Translucent blue vinyl, Iggy Pop, of course, the godfather of punk, as he's often called, and uh, the great Iggy Pop. Going back, way beyond punk, way beyond Iggy. Elvis. I'm counting on them. Otis Blackwell and Don Robinson um, wrote the songs on this album, and it's on blue vinyl, and it's not an official UK release, for some reason, don't put you Elvis out on official UK. It's on the French list, though. And this is where this comes from. From the French record store day list. Disquare day, they call it in France. Um, and got a couple of those. Here's one that uh, is quite strange. When this was announced, it was announced as a triple album. Um, totally different title. Um, Totally different tracks from Prince. I mean, it turns out later it's a double LP, um, 94 East Minneapolis Genius featuring Prince, um, which uh, I've only got the one copy of because it's probably a bit confusing for people having seen the original list and <laughs> then finding out it's this one. It's a double album on coloured vinyl, but if you're a Prince fan, it's a rarity not to be missed. Mentioned the Yardbirds earlier. Um, the other Yardbirds release for Record Store Day, again from Culture Factory, is Five Live Yardbirds on red vinyl. It's um, a reissue of uh, the Yardbirds, and it says Eric Clapton's earliest recordings. Um, this was a classic in the day. Well, it's a classic now. In the day, it didn't do a great deal, but. Uh, I've just been told I've got a low battery, but uh, we'll finish this off before it goes. So the Yardbirds, 
Five Live. Another old school rocker. Chris White. Chris White, of course, was in the zombies. In the zombies, you may recall, we've got wonderful psychedelic rock album, Odyssey and Oracle, which bombed in its day. Didn't sell hardly any, but became a cult classic and has been reissued many times, fortunately. And the Zombies, what a great band. And they're still touring. Chris White Experience, this is though. One that, uh, again, I don't think this was on the UK list. It was one on the French list, but it came to us via our good friends of Little Amber Fish. Or was it with Plastic Head? Can't recall. Plastic Head. And, um... Gil Scott, Heron, Brian Jackson, Winter in America. And somebody's going to be very lucky to get that because I've only got the one copy, which means I don't get one. Uh, another one that's off the French list, but not on our list, but somebody wanted it. So we got it. Public Enemy. This is a triple LP with a Revolution Tour 2003. Public Enemy. Um, there you are. You asked for that. Here it is. And then we have another one from Elvis. This time, this is a triple album, Elvis King of Styles, on three different colours of vinyl. I don't think you can see it there. Another one for Disc Air Day, not for us, but we got you a copy or two. Um, and it's got loads of Elvis sort of classics on there, different styles, covers his whole range of music from rock and roll to Christmas to ballads to blues, everything from rock. There is, oh, 54 tracks on this compilation. That'll keep you obvious fans going. Happy for a Sunday afternoon when you get it home from record store day. There you go, Elvis, King of Styles. And that, that as they say, is that for this record store day <coughs> unboxing. Short and sweet on that, finished it off. 23 videos of unboxing beat last year um 800 records i think i've pulled out of boxes there's a few more to come but they're all just extras of what i've already got i'm not sure when they're going to turn up um there's a couple haven't surfaced yet but may turn up later in the week i hope that's grateful dead uh art tatum and orbital you haven't seen those i'm hoping i've been told they're going to arrive later in the week fingers crossed we'll have them um and that's it for now. Now, after this, um, I'm going to start posting a countdown to Record Store Day series. Starting later on today, Sunday the 14th, it is today, um, with countdown number one, six days to go, which I'll just explain a bit about what Record Store Day is, how it came about, what it means to me and what it means to my customers, and maybe dispel a few myths that uh, abound about the day and uh, then through the worst of the week uh, through the countdown from Monday through Thursday I will do my picks of record store day with my top 10 um, and some others that I really think you should go look for uh, you may may have missed on the list they may not be your cup of tea but you should probably give them a try or give them a think about and I keep getting people say oh I missed that on the list I saw it in your video I didn't see it on the list well look at the list and Look at my website, because everything I've got is on the website. Not everything on Record Store Day is on my website, but everything on Record Store Day UK is on the Record Store Day UK website, and everything on Record Store Day in America is on Record Store Day America website. Don't get them mixed up, as some customers do, and ask me for records that are only available in the States. Um, but Record Store Day countdown starts um, to today, with my take on what Record Store Day is all about and then goes through the week with some picks of the picks of the crop, cream of the crop for Record Store Day, some you may not have thought of, some you've got on your list. And then on Friday, we'll post our Record Store Day um, preparation video where we'll give you a taster of, we'll, set, we'll have set the shop up and you can see what to expect on the day you get, day when you get here, uh, how it's all gonna work and whet your appetites so that you come along and get in the queue and buy your records. Anyway, thanks for that. Bye for now. Back soon with Record Store Day Countdown number one. <laughs>